Well, hello there, and good evening, everyone. I'm uh, William Brantley from South Jackson, Tennessee, or Bemis, Tennessee, ready to share with you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days momentarily, including the famous 4th of July forecast, which now does have a tiny chance, 30% maybe, of some isolated showers and thunderstorms uh, in the afternoon kind of like today uh, one hit here in Bemis right around 6.30 and I checked my rain gauge about 7 o'clock a little bit ago and I had three hundredths of an inch of rainfall here but it isn't all over Madison County it is in southern parts of Madison County and in northern parts of Madison County which you'll see momentarily when I show you the radar that's today is very similar to probably what's going to happen on the 4th of July I had this little hint there to you. Of course, uh, I know everybody wants to go to the fireworks shows on uh, Wednesday night. Uh, I believe that's the correct night. Yeah, uh, Wednesday night, uh, thanks to the 4th of July. And I hope all of you have a great night on that. But I'm hoping that uh, the showers and storms will be gone by 9 o'clock, which is after sunset. And that part will be okay. We'll see. Uh, I've got my fingers crossed that I can get them crossed here. <laughs> that the weather holds up for the uh, fireworks show Wednesday night. Uh, in the meantime, for tonight, uh, not, not too bad weather. Uh, temperatures are cooling down. Uh, at 7 o'clock, the temperature will cool down to 83 degrees here in Bemis. Uh, at 5 p.m., the skies are partly cloudy here. Uh, the temperature at that time was 93 degrees. Yeah, it cooled down from 93 at 5 o'clock down to 83 by 7 o'clock. Nice little, uh, nice little quick cool down there with a few sprinkles and light showers in the area. Like I said, 300 of an inch here since midnight. Right around 6.30 is when that happened. Alright, uh, feels like temperature at 5 p.m. was 99 degrees in the shade. Uh, the, the dew point was 78 degrees. Humidity was 68%. We had west winds of 7 miles per hour, gusting to 18 miles per hour. The barometric pressure would be 29.76 inches of mercury. Uh, today's low temperature was uh, 75 degrees. Nice and warm but not a record warmest though. Uh, today's high, woo, got close to 100 degrees, but didn't quite make it. Real close, 98 degrees. 98 degrees was high today here in Bemis. Uh, uh, well, like I said, uh, was going to say no rain, but I can't say that now. As of around 6.30, we had 300 of an inch, like I mentioned, here in Bemis. That is the total for the month <clears throat> of July. And thank goodness it fell on the July the 2nd, not the 1st. Maybe that'll make a difference as to how fairly dry we wind up during the month of July. We'll see. Alright, the lowest uh, humidity today was 54% at 2 p.m. Oh, by the way, the highest heat index today, or uh, feels like temperature, 106 degrees. And that, and that was in the shade at 4 p.m. Pretty warmer at that time, wasn't it? And we got uh, a day or two more of that to go through, and it may actually cool off a little bit toward the weekend. More on that when I get to the forecast. All right, like I mentioned, 54% was lowest humidity at uh, 2 p.m. 100% was the highest at 3 a.m. Uh, lowest dew point temperature was 74 degrees at 5 and 6 a.m. this morning. Highest would be 78 degrees at 4 and 5 p.m. this afternoon. Lowest barometric pressure would be 29.96 inches of mercury, and that occurred at 4 and 5 p.m., while the highest would be 30.01, and that occurred at 9 through 11 a.m., and again at 12 noon today. Today's highest wind gust, 18 miles per hour out of the west at the Jackson Airport at uh, 4.53 p.m. T today's records uh, for July 2nd, hottest high, 103 degrees. Hey, we were only about 5 degrees from that today. My goodness, it was warm. 
103 degrees in 1951. That was a hot year back then. Uh, coolest time would be 70 back in 1988. Uh, warmest low would be 77 in 1954, 1980, and 1999. While the coldest low would be 59 degrees, and that occurred in 2008. Today's record rainfall, my goodness, we had a lot of rain way back in 1957. That was the year I was born, February 14th of 1957. But on July the 2nd, 1957, uh, we had about three and a half inches of rain. Yeah, three and a half inches of rain. Uh, 3.52 to be exact, uh, back in 1957. But not today, not that much. <laughs> I did hear some reports from down in Memphis where they had some uh, uh, high rainfall amounts in parts of Shelby County uh, back around the 4 p.m. hour, but uh, not quite that much around here, though. Alrighty, I think that was it for the climate data. Uh, let me show the radar real quick, and then I'll show you a couple other graphs, and I guess that'll be it for the evening. Uh, and you'll see uh, weather showers, and I even heard a little thunder around 7 o'clock. Where the showers were uh, right around uh, 5 minutes to 7, uh, 15 minutes ago. And you can see where there were some scattered showers here in uh, southern Madison County, here in the Bemis area. Also, some light rain in the northern portions of uh, Madison County as well and even some thunderstorms uh, well over there in Arkansas near Jonesboro Arkansas up in Kentucky near Mayfield Kentucky I'm gonna have to get take this up for you to see that one there we go they are very spotty as you can see uh, around the area they're a little heavier down the Mississippi Especially down there near Clarksdale, Mississippi, I believe. Not far from Oxford. And even a few showers down around Tupelo, Mississippi. Those are the ones that are around our area today. If possible, they could pop up again tomorrow. But that's what's going on today. Alright, let me take a look at the uh, southern Mississippi sector one. That shows you, whoa, down Mississippi pretty good little line down there along I think that's highway 65 going down through Mississippi pretty good line all the way down to Jackson Mississippi almost there's some pretty good showers down there in parts of Mississippi down there well in uh, Biloxi Mississippi and Mobile Alabama uh, the panhandle of uh, Florida is doing better today than they were yesterday some scattered storms over there and down there in uh, Alabama as well of course, some in southern Middle Tennessee, down around Pickwick Dam area in Savannah, and of course some around here. And they're very spotty though. And uh, there they, you see the other ones around different parts of the southern sections of the country. All right. Uh, satellite pictures next, I believe. Uh, let me see. Yeah, and it's still. Let me make it move. There we go. And you, as you can see, let me come bring this down so you can see more of this. Uh, and there you see the scattered showers and storms across the state, Middle Tennessee, actually parts of it here in West Tennessee, especially right over and just south of Jackson and north of Jackson and uh, down south of Memphis and on down in the parts of Alabama, Mississippi we, that we are just looking at. Otherwise, the skies are fairly clear and expected to continue being that way. Alrighty, let's look at the current surface map, courtesy of the Weather Channel. And let me see here. We, have, we do have a cold front just north of us, up around Paducah, Kentucky, stretches way on up into Canada. Swings around way over here toward Nebraska to uh, some lows over there in the eastern Rocky Mountains and several other highs and lows out west. As you can see, a few spotty showers going into this national radar. There's the cluster of storms in uh, southern middle Tennessee and the lighter ones over here in west Tennessee. 
that you can see in that light blue. High there over West Virginia, sort of taking care of our weather. And uh, low down there in the northern Gulf of Mexico near Florida, contributing to some of that scattered showers and storms that we saw yesterday. But they're in good shape today, at least as of a, a few minutes ago. And there's a high down there in the southern, uh, uh, northeastern corner of Louisiana. Alrighty, and that's the way the country looks today on this beautiful uh, summer-like day. And, uh, alright, there's a grand tour there. <laughs> uh, let's look at the local forecast, of course. Uh, let's look at it real quick, and then uh, they'll be it tonight. It's still, still a little bad for July, though. I'm not complaining. I don't guess you are either. Uh, fair skies for the rest of the night in general, even though there are a few scattered showers on the radar. But generally speaking, it's going to be fair the rest of the night with a few spotty showers and thunderstorms. That's usually what I mean when I say generally fair with the exception of. Uh, that's always possible this time of the year, as you well know. Alright, um... The sun will be setting tonight at uh, 515. Uh, let me see. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting to do. There we go. Now, I, I, I forgot to adjust it properly. Sorry about that. And the sun will be rising tomorrow morning at 544 a.m. And be setting tomorrow evening at 814 p.m. And the moon will be rising tonight, later on, at 11.19 p.m., almost midnight. And be setting tomorrow morning around 9.37 a.m. With fair skies again tomorrow. And most likely a 20-30% chance of an isolated scattered shower or thunderstorm here and there tomorrow as well. Especially on Wednesday, I'm afraid. Yeah, sure, why not? Fourth of July. <laughs> Nature may have its own fireworks planned. Hopefully it won't mess up the man-made ones. Too bad. Uh, tomorrow morning's low near 73, which is close to what we had this morning, 75. Tomorrow's high about 92. That would be a little bit cooler than today's 98. And south-southeast winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour tomorrow. Uh, and then, then you see the sunrise again at 5.44 a.m. sets at 8.14 p.m. The moon will be rising tomorrow night at uh, uh, 11.51 p.m. and setting at 10.33 a.m. Wednesday morning, which is the 4th of July. Uh, at this time, it still don't look really all that bad, like I mentioned. Generally fair, like I mentioned, except for maybe a 40% chance of some afternoon scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some of them, some of them may linger to near sunset. But uh, hopefully become fair soon afterwards. But right now, uh, take your umbrella just in case. You know how nature can fool everybody. Uh, but anyhow, uh, Wednesday morning's low near 73, high of 95. I'm sorry, it couldn't get no better than that for the 4th of July, but nature has its own mind sometimes. It still ain't turned out to be a perfect evening. It's still time for that, a chance for that. Uh, south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour on Wednesday. Again, the sun rises at 5.45 a.m. Wednesday morning. Sets at 8.14 p.m. Wednesday night. Uh, which for most of our work shows don't start to around 9 o'clock anyway. So, maybe we'll get lucky yet. Again, I got my fingers crossed. <laughs> Hoping for the best. Uh, the moon rises uh, at 12.22 a.m. Wednesday morning and sets at 11.29 a.m. Wednesday morning. On into Thursday, very be cloudy skies. Hey, we actually got a good chance of showers and thunderstorms for Thursday and Friday. Very be cloudy with a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Low 73, high of 94, with east winds of 10 to 20. Friday looks like a good chance of showers and thunderstorms. Very be cloudy with an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Low near 72, high 90 with the west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Finally going to clear out just in time of the weekend. Wouldn't you know it? Thank goodness weather, I should say. Low 72, Saturday morning, high of 88. Whoa, it's cooling down a little bit. Uh, Sunday, low 67, high of 90. 
And Monday of next week, fair skies, low 71, high 90. Uh, I'll call it at that. Again, once again, Jim speaking tonight, fair skies with a few leftover uh, ice and showers and thunderstorms. Uh, they should be dying down quickly after sunset. And uh, about the same prediction, uh, expectation. Whew, what a word. <laughs> expectation. I can't even say that one. Uh, anyways, tomorrow, low 73, high 92, southeast winds at 10 to 20. All right, that's it for the night, folks. Uh, sorry for that uh, vocabulary. <laughs> I messed up on a little bit there. Got a little fun in doing these videos, don't you agree? Uh, I have fun trying and all, and I hope you uh, enjoy me uh, uh, making an effort anyways. And once again, I I've had several subscribers in the last couple of weeks, and and I appreciate that. Thank you for doing that. I've had a few folks telling me they really enjoy my videos, and I appreciate that too. And I appreciate doing them. I like sharing this information with you. And with that said, I'm going to let you go. Good night. God bless you. And I hope to talk to you again soon. Happy uh, Monday night, July 2nd. All right. Good night, and God bless you.